Unfortunately, the fuel access is currently placed in the really unconvenient place over here, and I really, thanks to my curiosity, interested to try to find room 11 without uh, destroying the generator over there. I mean, the, uh, the generator and the fuel access over there. I think there's that uh, one small generator thing over there. I think. I'm pretty sure of it. I think before I start, I'm going to do this. Huh. Okay, so we're kind of ready to get slime in this case. Alright, no, no, no slime this, that's for sure. Let's close the 32 so that the vacuum does not spread from room 30 to room 32, is all. Um, so I'm going to put Aaron over here. For the minute so far, I've been trying to use my. Oh no, no, wait, wait. I'm just going to use my, to use my test timer. Alright, I think there's nothing wrong with that much since then. It's gonna be a race against time, something like that. I didn't care if, with A2 breaking. Basically, the race against time. Ship scan. Alright, so let's see. Before it hits 16 minutes. Right. Hmm. Alright. Let's see how the result is going to be. Okay. Ooh, one jump cell. That's worth it. <laughs> in case you want to see how far I went with the room 11 radiation yeah this is basically how far I did I guess we're just gonna take a look at that uh, generator placement yeah, at the right side here there you go and that's it I'm not gonna bother to vacuum room 4 it has the slime over there if, in case you guys are wondering yeah I'm not I didn't really for some reason wow that was all right actually i'm glad i did that ship scan people will get a lot more i think i've checked all the interfaces yeah this one has the defense along with this two in which this uh, part of the rooms don't really seem to have the defense uh so there you go total time 17 16 with the score 9 15 I think I didn't really miss anything else since then, but I'm glad I got that jump fuel, mm. and also glad for that uh, jump fuel didn't break as well. So that was a nice effort there. So yeah, taking 11 scraps in total. I don't, I'm not sure how many scraps that we could get over here as well. I'm pretty glad the they didn't break the generator and the jump. Uh, the fuel access they'll be on the base uh, for another oh god i need to stop my time i'm already finished with that yeah that destroyed drone kind of break the effort in my case uh no no, no. breaking the flow by going to the <laughs> the so-called uh blocked fuel access but hey i managed so there's that Which puts us on top for, for getting that uh, fuel access thing. That's a word ever if you ask me. Yeah. I am not regretting on doing that because, well, I guess the RNG uh, did help for the fuel access and the generator to survive, though the later generator doesn't seem to help that much. Yeah, there no. Mm, you might lose drone or 90 points of drone HP for uh, his fuel lo fully loaded drone 
that sucks. Deco Void definitely takes some uh, radiation damage. I did have to race in time to uh, uh, close that D30C in time and some other doors uh, in, relating, in related to A2. Wow. 10 out of 10, we'll do that again. So yeah, um, cheers for watching. Uh, be sure to check our unofficial Duskers Discord and uh, uh, Deco Void's latest patch. Uh, the latest one uh, added uh, the commandeering bug uh, where this, the game will freeze at the time you commandeer uh, the ship with um, permanent and normal ship upgrade with no freeze slots or something like that. I, at least from what I can catch it, uh, from Deck of Voids uh, description, something like that. Oh god, Steve apparently got zero level with that madness. Not a friendly ship in that regard, but yeah, slime just sucks. Also destroyed drone that blocked that uh, field access sucks as well. <laughs> so yeah, cheers for watching. Uh, Mustika out.